Hello. Yes, organizing the mass movement through municipal nationalism. That's right. But you're probably saying, what mass movement, Joe? Well, in case you're all unaware, there's a mass movement out there that was built decades ago, probably going back as far as the mid-70s in Blackburn, where all, all those that belong to the mass movement have already been recruited and converted. So we don't have to recruit or convert anyone. It's already been done, right? The mass movement was built decades ago, and it's out there now as I speak in the white enclaves, in the white communities already built and established. We don't have to even go anywhere else to build these new mythical white communities that are already built and established. Yet, no one wants to know. How come no one wants to organize the mass movement that's out there now as I speak, waiting for us in the white enclaves, in the white communities already built and established, where tens of thousands of our supporters and voters live? We don't even have to recruit and convert them. It's already been done. You see, before we can win our people over, we've got to reach them first, right? We've got to empty the bins, show them we can empty the bins first before we can show them we can run the buses and the trains and so on and so on. And this is the way we do it through municipal nationalism. This is how we organise the mass movement that's already established, already built, already out there with tens of thousands of recruits and converts belonging to it. You couldn't ask for anything better, yet no one wants to know. Nick Griffin's coming out with his silly cop house pipe dream. Uh, excuse for failure that if young people have more children than the next generation and the next generation in a hundred years time, there'll be enough of us to take back our lands. Well, I suggest we take back our lands now while we're still the majority. Right, and we do this through municipal nationalism. That's how we organize the mass movement. Oh, on a final note, uh, my leaflet's now been done for Kensington. I will be uh, going out uh, amongst the uh, residents, the voters, the people of Kensington and Fairfield and spreading my message, talking to people that Joe Owens is the only real alternative. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power, then more power, and finally complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.